Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Medzone African Motives, still on Meccano Techniques and for uh, in this platform, we shall be focusing on hydraulic systems. Uh, from the question paper, which was written in June 2022, uh, we are given a question, question number five, having a total of 20 marks, as we can see. So uh, we shall see how to attempt these typical questions. Uh, from the other questions that we have done, you can also take into consideration how to apply the formulas or to use the formulas that you're asked to, to be applying. All right, so given that there is a horizontal pipe, uh, pipeline with a diameter of 90 millimeters and it conveys water at 20 liters per second with a pressure drop of 50 kilopascals per 20 meter of the pipe. Calculate the value of the coefficient of friction F using the case formula. Okay, so from this text formula, how can we find the value of F? That is the question. Okay, uh, so oh, guys, when you are given these typical questions, it's all about understanding uh, the formulas and working with the formulas. Okay, so this is horizontal pipe, which is just something of this nature, guys. Horizontal is just like this. Okay, so there's nothing much that we just have there. Okay, so from this information, let's just, just take the values that we have. So that's 5.1. I'm just going to list the information. Uh, we are given the diameter of the pipe in this case which is 90 millimeters. So we put 90 millimeters in meters. If you divide by a thousand, that's 0 0.09 meters, okay? It conveys water at 20 liters per second. This is the flow rate or the discharge, which is Q, that's 20 liters per second. But remember guys, I, uh, that a, a cubic meter is equivalent to 1000 liters. So to convert to cubic meters, we can divide by a thousand, which is going to be 0 0.02 cubic meters per second. All right, so this is our flow. Uh, then we are also given the pressure drop, which is the difference between the pressures P1 and P2. That's our pressure drop. So P1 minus P2, which you can just write as P, that's our 50 kilopascals. Okay, so we put 50 kilopascals and uh, Per 20 liter, which means we are per 20 meter, which means we are given length. So the length is 20 meters per 20 meters. So this is 50 kilopascals per 20 meter. Okay. So now from uh, the Dekis formula, how can we find F? Take note the uh, HF, which is equivalent to, I want you to know this formula. This is the one that you're going to measure with. Okay. We know that HF is equivalent to FL, uh, the charge, uh, the dis discharge to the exponent of two over 3.026 uh, D to the exponent. This is the most important formula for you to understand. All right. Now I want you to see something. In order here to find F, we can transpose our F, okay? We can just cross multiply because that's the way we're gonna have our F here. So you can just cross multiply 3.026 D to the exponent of five. Uh, HF is equivalent to FLQ to the exponent of two. So to find F, we can divide by LQ squared here by LQ squared. So that means our F is going to be 3.026 D to the exponent of five HF, everything over LQ squared. But we do not have this HF. Everything is there. Everything, we have all the info, but we do not have that HF. All right. Where can we have our HF? Remember that HF is equivalent to the pressure over the rho times the gravitational acceleration, okay? That is where we can have our pressure. In the, but remember, our, our pressure was supposed to be like this rho GH. So as we are to calculate this H, which is our HF in this case, so it's just a pressure divided by rho G, so H, is supposed to be pressure over rho g like this. But this is our HF, and this is the pressure which is representing the pressure difference P1 minus P2, which is 50 kilopascals. Okay, so from there, we can have our HF. So HF is equivalent to the pressure 50 kilo. Kilo means times 10 to the exponent of three. So that's 50 times 10 to the exponent of three, or just 50,000 
all right, 50,000 in this case, that's a thousand over rho g. This is rho for density, okay? So this is a density and we are dealing with what? With water in this case. And we know that the density for water, that's 1000 kg per cubic meter. So we're going to use 1000 in this case. So this is going to be 1000 multiply to G 9,81, so we can have our HF in this case. All right, so simplifying properly, our HF in this case is going to be 5.0, 5.097 meters. We will have the HF now, so that means you can calculate F since we said F is equivalent to 3.026 times D to the exponent of five, which is the diameter of 0 0.09 meters here. All right, so we've got down. 0 0.09 to the exponent of five times HF. Now we've got our HF, which is 5.097. Everything over LQ squared L, that's the length of 20 meters times the rate of flow or discharge of 0 0.02 to the exponent of two. So that's to the exponent of two. So from this guys, you can find your F, which is the equivalent of friction just like that, playing around with formulas. All right, so you're going to obtain something like 0, uh, 0, 0,01138 and so forth. So if you change, this is gonna be four. All right, something like that. So it's a constant, or you can just have it as 0, 0,11 like that, it's fine. All right, so that is how you were supposed to calculate this uh, F, all right? So I'm just gonna remove this and move on to the other question. Let's just hope it's not going to, okay. It's another question, which is, uh, all right, guys, I, okay, let me see if this information can come back. It won't come back. All right, I have deleted, and we need to use this on 5.1, okay. But we still have some of these, okay. On 5.2, now we are given 5.2, to use the cheeses uh, formula now to calculate each of the following for the scenario in question 5.1. You see now, guys, this is removing information. Okay, so we want to go back to 5.1 and calculate these. Okay, so these ones, but they're direct. We can even, because we have the values and I also have the values here. All right, so 5.21, uh, the hydraulic mean. So take note from our cheese uh, formula that the hydraulic mean, which is M, 5.21, M is equivalent to the diameter over four, all right? So this is D over four, also from a formula sheet you are given. The diameter, remember, the diameter was uh, in millimeters, in, me, in meters we obtained zero comma, that was 0 0.09, okay, over four. So if you divide this one, you're going to obtain something like zero comma, uh, 0.225 meters, okay. Of which you can convert to millimeters by multiplying by a thousand, which is going to be 22.5 millimeters, okay? So you can convert to millimeters if you want, but that was your M, which is the mean depth, okay? We move on to 5.22, uh, 5.22, the hydraulic gradient, which is I, so remember that I is equivalent to HF over L, and we calculated HF before. Remember, our HF was 5,097 uh, meters, okay? Uh, over L, which is our length in this case, is 20 meters. So this is meters, meters, so this can cancel. That's why you obtain a constant, which is 0, 0,25485 and so on. So if you round off, it is going to be 0, 0,255, all right? Then the cheese is coefficient, cheese coefficient, okay? So you need to calculate the cheese coefficient, which is written as C. All right, so remember that from the cheese constant, there are so many things that we are going to focus with here. This is five point, um, all right, 5.23. I remember that from our cheese formula, we can take it from velocity, that velocity is equivalent to the constant times the square root of the mean depth diameter, uh, the mean depth that we are given times uh, the hydraulic gradient in this case, whereby we can find C by transposing here, by dividing our C is going to be V over the square root of MI. So you just have to divide this from your mathematics here. So you can see that 
we do not have this velocity. We have our M, we have our I, we calculated these two, but we do not have velocity. So where can we have velocity? Remember before we were given the rate of flow in this case here, which is 20 liters per second. And that was something like uh, our Q, we, we, we expressed as a decimal, it was 0 0.02 cubic meters per second. So we know that we can calculate velocity from Q, Y, the rate of, cha the rate of change that we have in this case for volume uh, per, per given time is the same as the product of the velocity to the area. Take note, velocity to the area. That is, we can find V in this case by dividing by area, both sides, by area, both sides. So that means our V is equivalent to Q over A. But remember, area we do not have. So you see, mechanotechnics, that's how you play around. You combine these. We know that area can be taken from pi d squared over 4. So that means we can substitute this as velocity is equal to Q, which is 0, 0.02 over the area, that's pi d squared over 4. So we're going to have pi times d squared, the diameter now. Remember, our diameter was 0, 0.09 in meters uh, from that information that we listed before. So it's 0, 0.09 squared over four. So this, you put it in a bracket so that you don't obtain a wrong answer. Okay, so this is going to give us the velocity in meters per second. So our velocity in this case is going to be something like 3,144 meters per second. You have the velocity. What is left now is to find the C, which is the coefficient, which is the constant of what the cheese constant, which is C or the cheese coefficient which is the velocity over the square root of, so it is going to be uh, like this, the velocity we obtained 3,144 over the square root of the main depth that we are given our M. Remember, we calculated M here and we got uh, zero comma here, zero comma in meters. You take this one that is in meters, zero comma zero two two five. So that's zero. 0.0225 times I, which is our gradient. Uh, we obtained our gradient, hydraulic gradient, which was 0.55 EI, 0.255. So you multiply to 0.255, 0.255. All right. So that is our C in this case. By simplifying or evaluating from our calculator, we are going to obtain something like 41.50. 50598 and so on, 50605, okay. Now I don't know exactly what was the value that they obtained there, okay. Uh, let's just put in our calculator. I just avoid this thing of calculating it now. That's why I calculate these questions before I present them. Let me just confirm again. So this was 3.144 over the square root of 0, 0.02. 2.5 times 0, 0.255. Okay, so that's a six here. So this is a six. Okay, so if you round off, this is going to be 507. You round off this one, it changes to seven. So that's our C in this case. Uh, that's the one that you are being asked to calculate. Okay, so as you can see, guys, uh, that's how you simply play around this question. So that was uh, the cheese coefficient, three marks. So as you can see, it's three times three, which means each person was having uh, three marks. Okay, 5.3, we are now given calculate in liters per second. What are we given to calculate in liters per second? That is the flow rate or the rate of what? Of discharge. Which we, that is supposed to be in cubic meters per second. But there we are given a condition to calculate this in uh, liters per, per second. All right. So what we are going to do is to list down the information that we have in this case. Okay. What are we given? Okay. So let's list what we have. So we need to calculate Q in liters per second, but we know that a cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters. Okay. 
So uh, through a, a diameter, so given the diameter of 180 millimeters divided by 1,000, that's 0 0.18 meters, which is a venturi meter with a throat diameter. Okay, so here we have got uh, two things here, the major diameter from the pipe, then the throat diameter from the venturi meter, which is 120 millimeters, all right? That's 0 0.12 meters if you divide. And the coefficient of delivery, which is our CD, is equivalent to 0 0.97. The mercury meter shows the reading. So this time, take note, we are given the height on the mercury in this case, which is, uh, so this one is for mercury, okay? Which is 850 millimeters, okay? So uh, from this information, we are now asked to calculate the rate, which is our Q. So how can we have our Q in this case? All right, so it's all about inserting this into the formula, then we are done, guys. That, that's how we are simply working this typical question. And also you're supposed to many formulas, so many ways that you can do. Okay, so in this case, since we are to calculate Q, we know that our Q is equivalent to CD, uh, multiply to a times a over the square root of a squared minus a squared times the square root of 2gh, whereby this h is for water, okay? So this one is for water and this is for mercury, okay? And we have a relationship that we are going to do to find the one for water and the one for, uh, so that we can substitute into the formula, okay? So now, Okay, this is one formula that we can use, or we can use this one, which states that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pretty uh, nice formula again for Q. I can even write it on top here. Okay, even aside here. We can use our Q as Q is equivalent to uh, CD, that is CD times the area times the square root of 2GH, everything over m squared minus one. Okay, so you, you can just play around with the formulas. Okay, still you've got uh, answers which are in the same way. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain maybe, uh, yes, let me just explain both formulas. Okay, let's start with the first one. Okay, from this formula, what is needed right now or what is left from this formula is to find H. Okay, we have, we have a lot. We need area, area, and h okay so let's start with h first okay h can be taken from what from that one for make you remember guys i told you that the uh the pressure here, the head that you're going to have for mercury is taken from the one for water that is h mercury is equivalent to the h water over 12,6 for for mercury okay so that means for water you just have to multiply both this uh, over one so one times h water that's h water is equivalent to 12,6 times H14 for mercury. Okay, so this is what you're going to have in this case. So that means we can calculate the one for water, which is the one that we need on the formula. So that's 12,6 times mercury. We are given 850 millimeters. All right, so we're going to multiply and uh, having these dimensions in meters, if we divide by a thousand, that's 0 0.85 meters okay so that would be 0 0.85 uh, meters all right so if you multiply 0 0.85 to uh, this one was this 0 0.85 was this 850 or 86 okay this is 850 all right so which means i actually took this one in a wrong way okay so let me use calculator let me show you the calculator here all right so i hope you can see everything on the screen now so from the calculator uh this is what you're going to do uh 12.7 uh 12.6 sorry multiplied to 0 0.85 we've got something like 10.71 uh, okay so this is going to give us 10.71 so we've got 10.71 uh meters okay so this is in meters now okay so from this value that we have, now we can uh, calculate our, our, our D, our, is it D or Q? Okay, let me just indicate we have got our H here. Let's get back to the formula. Now we can calculate Q, which is the rate of flow. Okay, 
So that is what you're going to do to substitute the information now. That means our Q is equivalent to CD. We have our CD in this case, which is uh, 0 0.97. The area we do not have. So let's calculate the area again. Okay, let's calculate our areas. Uh, okay, even at like this side here. All right. So from the bigger diameter of the pipe, our area, remember that it's pi d squared over four. So that's pi times d, which is 0 0.18 from the pipe squared over four. So if you divide properly, you're going to obtain 0 0.0254 square meters. Okay, then we move on to the smaller one from the smaller diameter from that, uh, diameter that we are given, which is uh, the throat diameter of 120 millimeters, we got 0 0.12. So we're going to use 0 0.12. So that's pi times 0 0.12 squared over four. So our A in this case is going to be 0 0.0095 uh, square meters. Okay, so we have the areas. So now we can substitute guys, the, uh, the bigger one, 0 0.0. 0254. So this is the one that you are going to substitute here times 0, 0,254 times the A, the smaller one, we got 0, 0,0095. All right, everything over. So take note, this is a repetition. A squared minus A squared is simply these values, you square them. 0, 0,025 squared. Uh, there's a four here, okay, minus 0, 0,0095 squared, okay, times the square root of 2gh, which is two times the gravitational acceleration 9,81 times our h for water now, not mercury. So for water, we got this as uh, our h 10,71. So you're going to multiply to 10,71 in this case, okay. So this is 10,71. Okay, so that's your Q. Guys, you have to simplify properly. So because I used a wrong value, so now I'm going to repeat this stage now. Okay, anyways, that's 0, 0,97 times uh, 0, 0,0254 multiplied to 0, 0,0095. Everything over the square root of 0, 0,0254 squared minus 0, 0.0095 squared. Okay, then whatever that you have, you multiply to the square root again of two uh, times 9,81, 9,81 like this, times the distance, which is 10, 10,71. Okay, so this is going to be 0, 0.144, all right. So we're going to have 0, 0.144, 0, 0.144 which is measured in cubic meters per second, if you calculate this way. But we are given to calculate this in liters per second here, liters per second. And I told you that a cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liters. So to convert this to liters, how are we going to do it, guys? We simply multiply by 1,000, all right. So that's our Q is going to be 144 liters per second. Now you've multiplied by those. It's now liters per second. Okay, so that was the typical question, guys. Uh, very, very typical because they do ask typical questions like this. Okay, but like I said, we've got two formulas for calculating Q. The other one can be taken from here. Okay, this one, let's just write it uh, down here. I'm going to read write it uh, down here so that we do not have a lot of things on, on the same thing. Okay, we say the rate of flow can be given as CD times A times uh, the square root of 2GH in this case over M squared minus one, which is M is the module in this case. Okay, so A, uh, we calculated already the area, the bigger area, this one we have. Our H, we calculated our H, uh, which means we just need M. M squared. So M squared is taken from this formula that M squared is equivalent to D to the exponent of four over D to the exponent of four, which is same as D over D to the exponent of four like that. Okay, so that's D over D. And remember your diameters, guys, the ones that you're given in meters, the bigger one was 0, 0,18. 
Okay, over the smaller one here. All right, here, here. Okay, the smaller one, 0, 0,12. 0, 0,18, 0, 0,12. Okay, so you divide these two so that you find m squared. Okay, so that's how you calculate this one. So this is going to be over uh, 0, 0,14. 0, 0,11. Is it 0, 0,11? Okay, 0, 0,11. Everything to the exponent of 4. So if you divide properly, we are going to obtain something like 7,17. Okay, something like that, 7,17, which is our M, which is the module in this case. So from uh, the module M, we can substitute everything because we have these values that our CD in this case, remember it was 0, 0,97 times the bigger area, uh, which we got as 0, uh, what was that area? 0, 0,024, something like that. Okay, it was 0, 0,02. Five four times the square root of two gh two times nine comma eight one times h for water. This one is for water, and for water we calculated our h here. We got ten comma seven one. Okay, so this was ten comma seven one. So it's going to be ten comma seven one over m squared. Already this is representing m squared here. Already this value here is representing m squared. Remember, this is m squared. So m squared is equal to this value. So this is the value that you have sub. In place of m squared, we are going to substitute 7, 7, minus 1 like that. Okay, so this is one thing. So we can use our calculator, guys, to calculate our Q. So we are going to have an answer approximating to that same answer that we had before. That is how we simply have this one. It can, it can just differ a little bit, but it is going to approximate to that same answer that we had. It's going to be not much different from that one, or it can be exactly that one. That's how you can calculate the rate of charge. Then you convert to liters uh, per second as per instruction, like what we're given here. Our instruction was uh, to calculate in liters per second. So that's what you're going to do. So you can finish that one and see if you're obtaining a similar answer or an answer which is almost to this one. Okay, so these are the typical questions on hydraulic systems. And this is one of the most important topics because it is a lot of marks in your syllabus. So make sure that you revise your formulas from past exam papers and also your textbooks uh, as, as much as you are revising, guys. It's very, very important. Okay, that's it for the meantime from Mason African Motives till we meet again.